During slavery, African people were taught to be divided, to compete with each other and find fault in one another. Here are a few simple but very important things that we must start doing to take steps in breaking this cycle and becoming the strong community we were meant to be. Hey you guys, okay, so my name is Bella. Hey you guys, for anyone who doesn't know, welcome to my channel. Um, new videos every Thursday, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and come on back next week for more. All right, so today we are here to talk about a few things. I'm actually made up a short list of things that we as black people can do to become closer as a community, especially pertaining to black men and black women because, you know, there's, there's a lot of tension there. Like a lot of people who aren't black might not understand what I'm saying, but there's a lot of tension between black men and black women, you know, there's a lot of bashing, a lot of negative things. And I try to make videos sometimes saying what we can do to be more positive towards each other and, you know, change that around. So our community can be stronger because we definitely need a stronger community. You know, there's big things that needs to be done. Like we need to start, you know, start investing in black businesses and, you know, using black banks, keeping our money in our community and, you know, staying in our community and building up our community instead of getting rich and leaving it. But there's some small things I think we can do to start off just building the foundation, building more rapport, building more love with each other. Just little building blocks, little baby steps we can do on a regular everyday basis that can help us just to be stronger and be more connected and feel more like a community. So let's get started. The first thing is just smiling at each other and making eye contact with each other. I know this is like, what? How is this gonna help our community? But a lot of times I feel like when I'm coming, like I'm walking towards a black person, it's like this awkward, like, oh my God, like don't make eye contact. I do feel like sometimes we just don't smile. Like we, we try to like avoid eye contact in a weird way. And it makes it so awkward. And it's like, why? Like, and I personally try to make an effort to do this too. When I see a black person specific, I mean, you know, I try to smile at everyone, of course. But I feel like I'm, I usually look pretty approachable and pretty happy. But specifically when I see a black person, I feel a little extra like, you know, I want to look more approachable and look like, hey, like, you know, just kind of give like a little like, you know, just to get that connection and to be a little more approachable. So first thing, easy step, smiling at each other and making eye contact. It's really, it's actually really important. I'm hot. It seems like simple, you know, and just like, whatever but it's actually really important and a really good first step to just you know having that connection that first connection of I see you and I'm smiling I'm happy to see you kind of thing the second thing is greeting each other you know when we see each other I feel like other cultures when they see each other you know, they have a common language typically and they, you know, have just, you know, the fact that they have a common language and they're the same race, they will greet each other and a lot of times in their own language. I Honestly, a lot of black people don't have a language. You know, a lot of us, you know, we weren't, we're not directly from Africa, so we don't know our native language. But I think it's still important to greet each other and just say hi. It doesn't have to be nothing too much, just hello. Like I said, you know, first steps. Make eye contact, smile, and say hello. Hi. <laughs> Easy, right? Something you can do, start doing right now. As soon as you go outside, just start doing it. It's just, it's just a good way to, you know, we don't need to have anything else in common besides the fact that we're black. That's enough. Like, we probably have a lot in common just off of that alone. and. We should acknowledge each other as we are all in the same community and we should start talking to each other. And like I said, you're just being approachable and you're just opening that door to communication. You know, I feel like we need to do that more. Just start smiling at each other and greeting each other just for no other reason, but I'm black, you black. Let's say hi to each other. All right, next is be respectful of each other. 
when we're approaching each other, you know, especially guys, I guess I would say. Because sometimes, you know, guys typically, especially recently, guys have been being very respectful. I think particularly because of the climate and the whole, you know, the Harvey Weinsteins and the, all that craziness. So I feel like guys have been a little more, you know, polite, but you know, a little more conscious of the way they approach you and being respectful and not like making you to be some type of sexual object, which I think is amazing. But I feel like guys are usually nice. When guys approach me, and particularly black men, they typically are very respectful. You know, they typically can be very respectful. But, you know, there are times when the guy, you know, wanna be like, hey, you, the chocolate one with the, you know, with the hair, hey, bring your over here, hey, where you going? You know, like that type, of, you know, it happens. But for the most part, <laughs> it's very respectful. And we all know some people can be disrespectful, in particular, like talking about, I can't even say just guys, because I've seen women trying to highlight guys and say some crazy stuff like so yeah you know sometimes guys just just want to let me know like i like your hair or your skin or you you look nice i like your shirt you know like we can just come say hello greet each other tell each other like i like your shoes i like your you know just be respectful of each other and that's that's i think that's a, and very important in the foundation of a community is having respect for each other so just being respectful of each other's space, not touching anybody if they don't want to be touched, not calling anybody out their names, just being respectful and you know, yeah, this is basic. This is all very basic. These are all basic, very basic things that we can do to just become stronger as a community. All right, next, we need to change what we call each other and what we call ourselves. I feel like in our community, we, we a lot of times refer to each other in derogatory names, such as we might refer to all men as niggas, and we might refer to all women as bees or hoes, like just, and sometimes we think it's like a term of endearment kind of thing, but I think that definitely needs to change. Our term of endearments need to really be terms of endearment and things that are positive. And not only stop calling each other it, but stop calling ourselves it. I see a lot of girls calling their selves and their like close friends bees, like bee, 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 bee. I'm that bee. A bee like me, like. We need to have a, a better term of endearment for each other than niggas and bees, because. Yeah, it's just, it's not endearing and it's not, it's not positive. I feel like respect starts with respecting yourself and when you respect yourself, you just automatically respect other people, I feel like, for the most part. And I feel like when you start calling yourself good, positive words and stop calling yourself negative words, you're gonna stop calling other people negative words. And dudes referring themselves all the time is that nigga, 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 nigga calling everybody, all they dudes niggas, you know. It's a little much. So I think we should, like I said, stop calling each ourselves it and stop calling each other it and start when we see each other with that greeting we can say, you know, what's up brother, what's up sister, what's no reason to have to switch these negative words to positive words. Let's just use positive words. So there's a lot of power in, you know, the tongue, in your words, in speaking, you know, so I do think it's very important what we call each other. You know, it shouldn't be niggas and bees and uh, uh, uh. I think we know that. Like, it, we can be, we can do a lot better than that. We can start calling each other way more respectful things. And it doesn't even matter if you're saying something positive or negative, it still can be respectful. You should respect people always, regardless. So let's start calling each other better things and calling ourselves better things, okay? And number five, and I think this is a big one, Changing your expectations. I feel like a lot of times, a lot of black men and a lot of black women have these negative expectations on the opposite sex. And I feel that we need to change that. It doesn't matter, you know, we've all had, we've probably all had some type of negative experience, but the generalization I think is the problem. I think I'm very big on you get what you expect. You get what you are, you, you you know, law of attraction, like attracts like. And I think if you're expecting women to be this way and then they turn out to be this way, you're like, see, I knew it. 
And it's like, yeah, that's because that's what you expected. So of course you're gonna get exactly what you expect. Like what you believe is very important. Speaking personally, I've had amazing experiences with black men. I, I don't get when black women say there's no good black men or when black men say there's no good black women because I'm like, I'm right here. What are you talking about? But um, <laughs> I just don't get these things. And I think a big part of that is because I never had the mindset of all black men are like this. Black men do this, black, all black dudes are like, you know, I've never ever thought like that. I've never felt like that. And it didn't matter what I saw, what anyone did, I knew there were good black men. And I knew there were good black women. So it was never like, I, I never had that mindset of like, oh, there's no good men, or you know, all black men are like this, or like, I never, I just never had that mindset. And I think that's why I've had such great experiences with them because I expect good. I expect, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna give you an open chance. You know, I'm not gonna put some crazy expectations on you, what I think, how I think you're gonna do me wrong. And then when you do me wrong, I'll be all hurt. And I'm like, well, you thought you, that's what you expected. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm starting to get into like the law of attraction. I should do a video on law of attraction or something. That's what it sounds like, but I'm not, but. <laughs> Yeah, I think that that's very important, what you expect. So I think uh, we need to change our expectations and give people the opportunity to be an individual and not box them in with these negative, you know, a negative experience you might have had. Because I've had negative experiences too. I'm not saying they've all 100% been great, but you know what? The ones that were negative, I kind of knew going in, like this person probably can't be trusted. And it wasn't because, you know, they, anything, because they were black, anything, it was just because I just knew, like, yeah, you, you can't be trusted. And that's the definition of being prejudiced, is having some kind of preconceived notion about someone but that you've never met, just because they fit the same category that someone else who maybe did something fits in and you're like, you put them all in a, a box and you don't give them a chance to be them and to show you who they are because you already have these ideas, you know? And I think we should always give everyone an equal chance, uh, give them an opportunity to show you who they are instead of putting these expectations on them. And if we come into relationships, we come into interactions with each other with a positive mindset of thinking, of seeing good in people, and. No you know, everyone is different. And, you know, just like I said, give each other the benefit of the doubt. I think that would change so much in with us because we won't have any, we'll just, we won't be having any weird guards up or treat them like we would treat other people who maybe did certain things. Basically, my point is just give everyone a chance to show you who they are and don't put these negative, expectations on them let's let's see each other let's see ourselves in each other and let's see that we are a family we are a community we all share similar genetics you know what i'm saying we we're a family like you know so we should have more sympathy for each other and more love towards each other and us as humans we already have stuff in common we're, we're human beings we eat we drink, sleep we, we we love we hurt and all this stuff you know what i'm saying we should all empathize and have sympathy and care about each other. But when you have even more in common, you would think that because of that, you see you see more common ground and you want to be closer and you want to share those experiences and you, you see yourself in that person. And I want that to be more of how our community is. That we see, when we see another black person doing good, we, we're proud and we feel like they did it so I can do it. You know what I'm saying? And that's a part of my community, so that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's great. It shouldn't be any type of hate. You should want us all to do good. You should encourage each other. You know, it should be like a family, like a community. That's what this is, a community. So we need to start acting as such and start implementing these things. And all of these things that I've named, you can start right now make a conscious effort to start doing these things. And literally, if we all started doing these things and taking these steps, it would make our community so much stronger. 
so much stronger. It would build so much more trust within each other and so much more love and so much more compassion. Just small things, like I said, greeting each other, having more respect for each other, calling each other better names, you know, having better terms for each other, not being prejudiced towards each other and uplifting each other. If we did these things, our community would be so much stronger. And this is just the first steps. Like there's so much more stuff, to be honest. Like I said, like I know we need to, like this financial stuff that we need to work on in our community and you know, just business, owning stuff as black people, owning more and all types of stuff. But I think this is a good start, place to start because people say those things and it's like, it seems so far fetched. And I just want to give us something we can do right now, something that's easy that, you know, we can start today doing that will make our community stronger. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and get where I'm coming from and what I'm trying to do. Um, if you did like it, y'all already know what to do. Help a sister out and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff. And come on back next Thursday for more. Well, all right, you guys. Until next time.